Hey, what's going on, Freedom Family? Welcome back to Age, the uh, the code name for a game that is eventually not going to be named Age. In this week's recap, we're going to be taking a look at the newest art, the newest tech, and also just talk about the benefit of joining this team. So we're going to be starting this video with some art. Magix is back at it again this week with some low poly models of trees and also the mining shack. Note that we also have a third level right now of upgrade for all the resources gathering building. Now in terms of code, Demkey has produced the first iteration of the audio manager. There are still some problems here and there, but we've been able to play audio in the browser for the first time, so good job Demkeys. On my end, I've been starting to work on the combat system and also the troops, but I can't actually show you anything since we don't have any way to display that right now. I could show you a bunch of line of codes, but that is kind of boring, isn't it? Next, I would like to mention the monetization system we have for Age, uh, what is planned for the future, and also how the team is going to benefit from it. Since the game does not actually make any revenue until people buy it from the shelf or buy in the microtransactions, giving out salaries off the get-go is something that is a really, really huge risk for any company, really. Um, because as you see on Steam, as you see on the internet, anywhere if you follow gaming, a game is not always a success, and that is when it's actually being completed. A lot of time games are even cancelled in the middle. So here at Age, we have a different revenue model, which is not really different, It's it's been out there for a while, uh, the station use it as well, it's a uh, deferred uh, revenue model. Which means that the contributors are going to be rewarded when the game actually makes money. Now there is two main reasons we went for that. First, of course, because the risk factor is really really high uh, in completing the game and also having it be a success, that's, that's always the same thing for every single game. But second, because it is going to motivate people to finish it. But like I've already mentioned on the team chat, this is not about money, but as soon as there is going to be money involved, if there is, uh, then it's going to be shared with the contributors. And since we're on the topic of the team really quickly, I'd like to uh, just say this right there. Um, one final thing that I want to mention is that we still have not found a gameplay programmer for our game. We've sent out the tests, people, they looked at it, but they nobody really were able to complete it yet. So, so if you feel like you can complete that challenge, you need some decent C-sharp, uh, Unity and also mathematical skills. If you can have all of that and you want to join a team, check out the description below. There's going to be my email, you can contact me there, and I'll send you the test. We're also looking for a 3D low-poly uh, modeler that can start helping us with creating the characters and creating the models for a game. This is mostly going to be used for combats and troops, but also for just when you're walking around the town. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say. If you guys want to see some more stuff on the Freedom Central, you can always click on these links. They are amazing, they showcase stuff that first you want to look at and also some other stuff that we want to promote because it's, you know, it's good, I promise. <laughs>